Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C program to find the divisors of a natural number. So what we do is we will ask the user to enter a number and then we will display the divisors of this number. Uh, we are going to display the numbers which will divide the number entered by the user completely. That is, for example, if the number entered by the user is present in this number variable, then when we divide this from a number for example let's say two you know if we get the remainder as zero then we can say that this two divides this number completely and two is the divisor of this number which is present in this number variable so we will display all the divisors for a natural number entered by the user so here i have written some code i have included the stdio.h header file so that we can use the functions like printf and scanf and then I have written this main function, which is the entry point of our program from our perspective. So here, the first thing that we do is we will declare the variables that we are going to use in this program. So the first variable that we need is for storing the number entered by the user. And the next variable that we need is for storing the divisor. So I'm going to call it as divisor. Now, the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the number. So I'm going to use a printf function in here and I'm going to specify the message as enter the natural number to find the divisors. And then we use the scanf function and here we will use the percentage d format specifier and whatever the number that we read, we will store that in this number variable. Let's say the user is going to enter the number 10. Now we already know that the number 1 and the number itself, which is 10, these are the divisors of this number 10. So since we already know this, we are not going to find it in our program. And then if you look at this number 10, then the possible range of values which can divide this number 10 completely are from 1 to 5. We can say that the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9 can't divide this number 10 completely. And of course, 10 will do it. We already know this and we are not going to check for this number 1 and number 10 in our program. So the possible range of values are from 2 to 5. And in this range, this maximum value 5 is actually half of this number 10. So uh, what we do is we take the number entered by the user in our program and we start dividing this number uh, starting from 2. So we will check the reminder value when we do that. If, if we get the reminder as 0, it means that 2 is the divisor of this number 10. So we will display 2 and then we go to the next number. And again, we will do the same thing. We will check for, we will divide it. We will check for the reminder value uh, and we will display it if it is the divisor then we will go to the next number and similarly we go up to number divided by 2 because uh, you know these are the numbers which can divide which can be the divisors of this number 10 here in this case which is 5 number divided by 2 becomes 5 because the number that we are assuming is 10 so here in this program now let's use a printf function and we will say divisors of the number percentage d r and then we will uh, insert this number variables value for the placeholder and here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna directly display the number one and the number itself so i'm gonna use a printf function in here i'm gonna write percentage d space percentage d and then i'm gonna add a space and here we will display one and the number itself. So after this, we will use a for loop. And uh, in this for loop, we will initialize our divisor variable with a value of two. That's because we already know one is the divisor. So we don't have to check for this number one. And then the condition here will be divisor containing a value less than or equal to number divided by two. And after that, we will increment the value of the divisor variable by one. So we will start from two and we will go up to number divided by two. And here we will check what we get as the reminder value 
when we divide the value in the number variable by the value in the divisor variable and here we will check for the remainder value whether it is zero or not this modulus operator returns the remainder value when we divide a number by another number if we get the remainder as zero it means that the value present in this divisor variable for that particular iteration in this for loop is the divisor of the number present in this number variable so we will use a printf function and we will display that to the screen so we will use percentage d and then we will add a space in here and we will display divisor variables value for that particular iteration and if the reminder is a non-zero value then we are not going to do anything so this for loop will start from a uh, two and it will run up to number divided by two now we have uh, written the program let's run this enter the natural number to find divisors i'm gonna say 10 it says 1 10 2 and 5 and here if you don't want to do it like this you know you don't want to display the number uh, 1 and the number itself uh, like the way that i have done here then you can modify this program i'm going to comment it out and here we will uh, make this divisor to start from 1 and we will change this condition to less than or equal to number now uh, it will uh, you know display the it will check for the numbers starting from 1 up to uh, the number itself now if i run this and this time i'm going to enter 10 now you guys can see it will display 1 2 5 and 10 it will do a bit more calculation this time than it was doing in the previous run so this is it guys for this video this is how you guys can write a simple c program to find the divisors of a natural number if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel check out my website exampleprogram.com for the source code of this tutorial and uh, we also have a lot of programs in that website so this is it guys see you later in the next video